Sagittarius, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is a message for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. This is an energy reading, so please take these messages where they resonate in your life. It is your message. Sagittarius, this is a timeless message, so it comes to you when you are ready to receive it. If you're looking for a personal reading, please check out my website because I do do those. Uh, you can book and schedule everything right through the site, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. Sagittarius. 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 Okay. Sagittarius. What are the messages for Sagittarius this week? We have, let spirit be your guide. And then we also have act as if. So there's a lot of faith and fake it till you make it happening here right now, which means at least to me, you're in flux or something is still in the air. Try to have an aerial perspective on this situation, whatever is really bugging you. And in some ways, just listen more than you speak because there's a lot of information as in the clear expectations that somebody has for you and what they're asking from you. And if you don't have it or don't know how to answer, um, I, I think you already feel that there's a little bit of imbalance or insecurity there where you kind of know that you could really screw things up or you feel you could really screw things up. So ultimately it is kind of this sense of try to remain as objective and quiet as possible to listen and understand. It could just be a time when you want to be more quiet and more vigilant in terms of taking down or taking in information. <coughs> Faith. This sense of don't make any decisions right now or you need to take in a lot more information before you do and Spirit's going to show you signs or lead you to that information along the way. Act as if for right now, let people think what they want to think. Let them believe what they want to believe. Blend in as much as you can. It could also be that you have spotted something that you know is not completely being honest or doesn't make complete sense, something that is in disguise. So that could be as well. That's not coming out as strong, however. Clear out the clutter. It's time to get rid of stuff. It's time to um, let go of the past or emotions from the past or holding on to. like. Essentially, all these cards together, let me show you the cards. They're saying, get ready to improvise this week. You know, it's, it's like, let go of those expectations, Sagittarius. Let go of what you thought was going to happen. You're going to have to think on your feet in order to sort of dodge landmines as well as get to the other side of where, what you actually want to work out. But at the same time, that's an expectation too, isn't it? So it's like, don't think about where I want to go. Think about, okay, step by step, day to day, what's the best decision to make this sense of don't get stuck into wanting one thing too much that's really interesting clear out the clutter can also be literal so it can be yeah it can be literal clear out the clutter
Okay. As in declutter, get rid of a lot of stuff. You might have to be getting rid of a lot of stuff. We also have lay a solid foundation, Sagittarius. That's interesting. So you are working on something. And it's almost like don't definitely maintain your standards. Go slow. Take it slow. Take in the information. Read the instructions. Read the fine print. It may not be the most comfortable week for you, but it can be productive if you slow things down and don't rush it. And then spirit has a plan. So don't worry about what you're... I know, never in the history of not worrying has anybody stopped worrying because they were told to stop worrying or don't worry. I get it. I understand. Spirit has a plan, though. So you're being told right now, God's moving you in the direction that you're supposed to go or that or like all of this stuff is happening and unfolding the way it is because you need to awaken to maybe another direction, a new direction or options that you didn't even know were there. Spirit absolutely has a plan. So please let spirit be your guide. The way you can easily do this is by blending in, fake it till you make it and just doing what you need to do to clear space because clearly there is something new coming in you want to lay a solid foundation in order to do that you have to clear out the clutter of what you already have it's really definitely getting rid of the old and getting ready for the new and there is new that's coming in so it's 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 guaranteed it's there just don't worry about how it's coming in or set into kind of stone in your brain exactly how things are supposed to pan out. Let's get into um, tarot, actually. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's get into tarot for a second. So what is this all about? Lay a, lay a solid foundation for what? Lay a solid foundation for what? We have... Um, for what? What is, uh, you picked up too much, you've been doing too much work, maybe you get a lot of weight on your shoulders, there's a lot of tasks at hand, that's the ten of wands, overburdening yourself, taking on too much, but it's almost like saying taking on too much is what you're going to need to do right now, because look, you're in the midst of moving forward or probably creating something new. This is Cancerian energy, which means there is movement and progress. As soon as I saw this, I said move, moving something, like lifting something, heavy burdens, taking a lot on, right? But you're going to have to is sort of the message. And then this would represent you, Sagittarius, or it could be Leo or um, um, Aries as well. There is just this sense of movement forward, create, you're doing this. Like that's what it that's what it's saying. Everything is going really well. Progress is still going to come. I don't want to make you think you're being set back. You're not. This week is just going to offer you a lot of unexpected. So the le the less you expect, the better and smoother it's going to be because you can just sort of roll with the punches. And there's this line from Hamilton the musical that says smile more, um talk less, smile more. Yeah. And that's kind of what you have to do this week because I think the answer is in the questions that people are asking, right? Listen to it, take in all the information, and then sort of let them answer their own questions. Let's get a moon card. Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. We have nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. So th things are still in flux and they're still changing. And I know that you want to go in a specific direction. You may have some struggles or difficulties this week getting there. That's pretty clear. So as much as you want things to be confirmed, as of yet, they are not. That's the message that's coming out after the moon card. But there is still, de no, but there's still definite ways to work this out. Keeping your mind open. Oh, yeah, you're going to find them. Hold on. Keeping your mind open is the key to you figuring out or doing whatever you need to do to 
know which next which next move to take so no expectations just open-mindedness and improv we have uh, Sagittarius showing up in your own reading figuring out things finding a way to work things out um, things will just sort of magically come together Queen of Swords is here um, choosing a direction and moving forward in other words whatever is coming to you you're gonna find a way to use it and work it out and you will be moving forward let's confirm if you're going to be moving forward in the direction that you wanted to go because we have a lot of movement here that is confirmed there were a lot of options that came in that you were looking at prior we have eight of wands here Ooh, 11 11 there you go so much i think this is gonna move the thing is this this is the thing this is the thing in the beginning of whatever this is that we're discussing, things move really quickly. And I think that's the problem that may be causing you to think like things are becoming hard. They're not becoming hard. You're just kind of feeling everything clumped together because it's not moving that fast anymore. Things have slowed down. The opportunities are still there, but the burdens are now on your back and you have to, it's not that they're just coming in now, you have to deal with them one by one. So it's kind of, it could be a frustrating week. It could be a week of, uh, it just feels really slow, but if you just stick to the grind, keep your head down and work through this, absolutely there are 100% solutions forward for you. And then we have underlying energy a lot of offers or opportunities coming in um okay i wonder why that came out we have the hermit card here again we have virgo energy oh you have to either move your work or your work is going to move or move you um or this is about moving forward with healing and getting healthier that's really nice too but it's also saying go slow and be very pedantic. Virgo energy is all about the details, crossing the T's, dotting the I's, and making sure that you've read the fine print, and going slow and not taking on too much or trying to rush yourself. There's a lot of excitement here, and if you are rushing, you might feel like you failed when you actually haven't failed. You just you've just slowed down and that's really all you're experiencing right now so we do have very nurturing energy um yeah very nurturing very family oriented virgo energy moving forward could it be even with family or something to do with family um and then we have the strength card here so you definitely have the abundance and the resources for it but it's almost like look your look look at your beasts in the mouth what are your beasts are they in, if they're impatient then you're going to have to look it in the mouth and you know that like it's that thing like getting that getting that beast under control in order to keep a clear mind and allow yourself to realize that there's really nothing bad going on here i still see everything shifting and moving forward let's see where this is taking us what do you mean by all this god oh this is beautiful loyal heart is here there's some sort of connection also imagination unless you're thinking of somebody a lot right now dreaming of somebody a lot loyal heart a connection wishing somebody was here with you or this is a dream come true let me show you this we have uh lovey dovey dovey lovers um connectivity beautiful and then we have imagine either you're dreaming of somebody or somebody that you have imagined is going to start to manifest themselves this is like doing it with somebody and this might actually surprise a lot of you this may actually surprise a lot of you loyal heart and imagine what a beautiful energy okay let's get a little bit deeper into that remember there's always an extended reading i hope you guys will join me on my website it's always there or check out the links below remember there's not going to be able to be links on youtube they're they're cutting them out and so all I would ask is to go to www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com or go to Vimeo 
the the links are there I make the extended they're always there every video has an extended FYI yeah we have a lot of challenges or kerfuffles that are going on or maybe there have been a lot of challenges because it's like you've been dreaming of somebody or dreaming of being with somebody or maybe there have been challenges to your relationships lots of red tape so no I hear it I get it it's this person that's offering you relief it's this connection that's offering you kind of a way out of all the craziness and chaos they're offering you inspiration to keep going and that is God's greatest gift to you this week is this beautiful love this beautiful connection whatever it is it could be to your child it could be to your spouse it could be to your lover I don't give a fuck who it's to I know it's there and it's saying God's not gonna leave you alone it's got it's giving you the hint that this beautiful energy is things are gonna work themselves out because you're constantly getting communication or inspiration through all this craziness when everybody else is like bullshitting you or battling you you're constantly receiving this beautiful energy inspiration and support from this loved one I don't know who it is I'm sure you know who it is um, but it's definitely what is carrying you through and keeping you moving forward even though there's a lot of reasons and a lot of burdens to quit it is not worth quitting I promise you there is beautiful things on the other side let's go to the extended I hope you guys will join me